Hi, my name is Anne Chung. I'm one of the rheumatologists here at BJC Health. Today I just want to take the time to talk you through some of the terminology that you might have heard from your rheumatologist. Specifically, I want to touch on what spondyloarthropathy is and how that's different from ankylosing spondylitis. So spondyloarthropathy can be considered as a bracket term or an umbrella term for patients with inflammatory back pain. Um, and just to clarify, inflammatory back pain is um, lower back symptoms typically experienced um, in the morning um, with nocturnal pain and sometimes spastic pain. And this umbrella term, spondylar arthropathy, would capture um, inflammatory back pain driven by psoriasis, inflammatory back pain driven by an inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, or it could be more of a pure form where you have just inflammatory back pain alone. However, um, this is quite different from ankylosing spondylitis. So if um, a patient with ankylosing spondylitis would also experience inflammatory back pain, but how it's different is that by definition, they would also have specific changes on x-ray at the SI joint. Whereas patients with spondyloarthropathy may not have these established x-ray changes. So hopefully that gives you more understanding. We do use a lot of long words in rheumatology and trying to navigate the differences between spondylar arthropathy and ankylosing spondylitis can be a little bit tricky. If you still have concerns or questions about how this relates to your diagnosis, um, please talk to your um, healthcare practitioner for more information.